Welcome to Expert Talk Smart Flows. Today, we'll let our customer sign our quote through DocuSign. First, check if your license contains DocuSign. If not, contact your Expert Talk sales rep. Then, check if you have a DocuSign account. You can sign up for a free Developer Sandbox account. From this account, you will need the username and password for the next step. In SmartFlows, we'll create a DocuSign connector. Then authorize Expert Doc SmartFlows. In this step, you might have to go to DocuSign and enter your credentials of your DocuSign account. This has created the connector and we're now ready to use DocuSign. There are two steps to take. One is to add a DocuSign step to our flow and two is to add a signature field to our template. We'll add a DocuSign step to our flow. We have to adjust a couple of settings. Add the signed document to the flow output. We'll see the output on the screen after the document has been signed. This is what we called a delayed output. The step will wait until the recipient has signed. Make sure the generated document is selected. The other settings can be left to their default values. Then we want the stored or the signed document to be stored in SharePoint. So add a step for SharePoint. and make sure to link the signed document to SharePoint. In the settings, I select one of the output settings. I'll show file in folder. That way I can click from the flow's output to the document in SharePoint. On the other settings, I'll fill in the folder path. I'll link that to my data set where I can pick up the SharePoint document location. And don't forget to save the changes. In my flow output, I now have three options the generated document, the signed document, and the signed document in SharePoint. I can remove the generated document from my output. The last step is to add the signature to the template. Select the position in the template and click the e-signature button in the ribbon. We can now configure this field. Switch to e-signature, insert, and configure. Here, we'll configure the recipient that needs to sign the document. So from our data set, we'll pick up the email address of the primary contact of our account. We'll also pick up the name of that person. Click OK, click OK, and don't forget to publish your template.
Now we should be able to run our flow. So let's switch to Dynamics. We'll run the flow from our quote, and the quote will be sent for signing to the primary contact of the account, that is René Valdez. Let's run the flow. And the flow is now set in a waiting state. It will wait until René signs the document in DocuSign. Now let's pretend I'm René. I can open her mailbox. And there I find a document waiting to be signed. This will take me to DocuSign. I'll go through the signing process. Select one of the signatures or sign myself and sign the document. I can save a copy if I want, but choose not to. If I now switch back to my flow, it will keep refreshing itself until the document is signed. I can help that a little bit. And as you can see, the flow continues and ends with a signed document and a signed document stored in SharePoint. Let's have a quick look at the document. And that's a nicely signed document. That's it for DocuSign. Thank you. Bye-bye.